Today you'll see how 30 famous movie stars now over 90 years old have changed. I will show you how they looked in their youth and what happened to them now in 2021. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Barbara Eden began her career as a film actress back in 1957. A significant breakthrough for Eden's career was her participation in I Dream of Jeannie, where she got the main character. In 2019, Barbara's last film My Adventure with Santa, Mrs. Claus was released. Clint Eastwood is a four-time Oscar winner who began his career in Revenge of the Beast 1955 and gained widespread acclaim in the mid-60s starring in the films of Sergio Leone. At the moment, his last work is the film Men's Tears 2021, the role of Mike Milo. Betty White started her career of actress in Time to Kill 1945, where she played Louis' girlfriend. Fame came to her in 1985 with the role of Rose Neeland in the TV series Golden Girls. In 2019, she voiced Betty White in Toy Story 4. Louis Smith began her acting career in the early 1950s with the television series Love of Life, the role of Mrs. Bendery. But she is the best known for her roles in The Minority Report, released in 2002, and in Tornado. Now she is starring in Mac and Rita. In 1951, Mel Brooks first appeared as an actor in The Milton Berle Show, and 17 years later, the producers brought him an Oscar. But he became famous in 1974 after shooting the film Shining Saddles. Now Mel voices the Shogun in The Burning Samurai. William Shatner, although he began his career in 1951, but his debut took place seven years later in The Brothers Karamazov, and world popularity came to him after filming in Star Trek as Captain James. The series My Life is a Murder 2021 is his last work. James Earl Jones made his film debut in the mid-60s with Dr. Strangelove, but he gained considerable popularity after voicing Darth Vader in Star Wars. Jones also starred in Dr. House, The Big Bang Theory, and in 2021 in the second part of A Trip to America. For Barbara Bain, her career as a film actress began with participation in the television series Harbour Master, where she got the role of Jane. But fame came to her after the series Mission Impossible, Cinnamon Carter. In 2020, she played Gran in The Last Straw. Robert Wagner first appeared on the screens in the movie Happy Years in 1950, but worldwide popularity came to him almost 30 years after filming the series The Hard Spouses. His last work was the series Naval Police Special Section, 2010. 2019. Robert Morris began acting in the mid-50s in the TV series Secret Storm and came to fame after the 1967 film How to Succeed in Business Without Doing Nothing. In 2019, he finished scoring for Santa Claus in Teen Titans Go. Barbara Barry's acting career began in the early 50s with the series A Love of Life but her most memorable role was in Going Away, 1979, where she played Evelyn Stoller. The last film with Barbara was released in 2021, The Magnificent Marathon, Celeste. Claire Bloom first appeared on screens in the late 1940s in The Blind Goddess, starring Mary. Success came to her four years after filming in Ramp Lights. In 2019, Summer of Rockets was released, where she played Aunt Mary, and at the moment, it's her last work. In 1961, Gene Hackman began his career in Mad Dog Call, The Earl of Cop, and only 10 years later, Detective Jimmy was able to make him famous. Gene's last film was released in 2004 under the title Welcome to Mooseport, where he played the role of Monroe Cole. Dick Van Dyke first appeared on screens in 1957 with the release of the Phil Silver Show, and in the mid-60s he gained considerable fame by playing several roles in the film Mary Poppins. In 2020, he voiced Hopscotch the Sasquatch on the TV series Kidding. In the early 70s, 
Philip Baker Hall starred in the film The Brisky Point, the first of his career. Hall managed to achieve significant success only in 1999, playing the role of Hall in the film Magnolia. The series Messiah, released in 2020, is his last work. Marcia Hall began acting at the age of 18 in the film Judge from Virginia and five years later, in 1940, she was successful after the release of Pride and Prejudice, the role of Mary Lee. In 2008, she starred in the short film The Last Inquisitor, Hazel Reedy. James Hong gained considerable popularity with his lead roles in Wayne's World 2, 1993, Jeff Wong in The X-Files, 1996, although he began his career in the 1950s with Dragonfly Squadron. The Poorly Drawn Lines, 2021, is his latest work. Angela Lansbury's heyday as a film actress came in 1944 in Gaslight, and it wasn't until 1962 that she performed her most memorable and successful role in The Manchu Candidate. She lost starred in Mary Poppins Returns, 2018. Eve Mary Saint made her debut in 1954 in On the Waterfront, in which she played Eddie Dial and received an Academy Award. Eve is also best known for her role as Martha in Superman Returns, 2006. In 2020, she appeared in the short video The Pack Podcast. Sidney Poitier entered the world of cinema in 1947, starring in Sepia Cinderella. Fame came with the release of the films Chained by One Chain, 1958, and Lilies of the Wally, for which he received an Oscar. In 2001, he starred in America's Last Brief. Buck Henry appeared in 1964 in The Troubled One, T.R. Kingston, where he also wrote the film. Considerable fame came to him after the painting The Graduate, 1967. His last work was the short film Keys, Keys, Finger Bang, 2015. Henry died of heart attack. Robert Duell began his career in the 60s, where he starred in TV series, one of which is Playhouse 90, John. Success came to him after participating in the Thanks 1138 project, 1971. He is currently working on the film Hustle, 2022. Estelle Parsons began her career in 1963 with The Defenders, and four years later, thanks to Bonnie and Clyde Blanche, she was able to achieve success and receive an Oscar, currently starring in the TV series Connors, 2018-2021, playing several roles. In the 50s, Marion Koch began to act in films. One of her works is Charter's Harkin, but she gained considerable popularity in 1964 after participating in the project for a fistful of dollars, Marisol. Koch's last film is Rizal and Hoffi. John Staley began acting in the late 1940s in Imperial Waltz, and one of John's most successful and memorable roles was in Cape Fear in 62, Waitress. As an actress, she last appeared in the TV series Dallas. Liza Lou began her acting career in 1958 with the Storm Storm show Oops Susanna, and already a few years later, with the release of the film The Road in the Mountains, began to gain popularity. In 2021, she starred in The Disappearance of Lady Wu as Lilu Wu. James Tolkien rose to fame in 1985 after playing the headmaster in Back to the Future and playing Top Gun. He began with filming in Naked City, which appeared on screens in 1960, and is now involved in the miniseries Expedition Back to the Future 2021. Hal Linden rose to fame by starring in Barney Miller, 1974-1982, which won him over five Emmy Awards. The series Producer Showcase, released in the late 50s, was his first film work, and his recent performance can be seen in The Grey's Anatomy, 2019. Carol Baker began acting in films in the mid-50s. Her first film was The Giant, but considerable popularity came to her from the releases in the same 1956 of the film Doll. She last appeared in Lion's Liar, 2003. She was nominated for an Oscar. 
Ange Wigginson first appeared on the screens in the mid-50s in the Kogi Tamedi Hour, and five years later, the role of Feathers in Rio Bravo served as a big break for her career. Her last appearance was the documentary Dean Martin, King of the Cool. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course subscribe to the channel.